We explain the history of Juneteenth. On January 1, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, abolishing slavery. But it would take more than two and a half years for freedom to reach every state. Some say this was because news was slow to spread. Others say that the information was withheld from slaves. And others say that, in some states, there weren't enough Union soldiers to enforce the order. Finally, on June 19, 1865, Major General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas, and announced that the Civil War had ended, and the more than 250,000 remaining enslaved people were now free, resulting in massive celebrations. The following year, on June 19, the first official Juneteenth celebrations took place in Texas. The newly freed African Americans celebrated by dressing up nicely, something they were not allowed to do as slaves, and singing spirituals, dancing, and reading the Emancipation Proclamation aloud. Even though African Americans did not receive the same liberties as others, they and their descendants continued the celebration every year. And as they migrated from Texas to other parts of the country, the Juneteenth tradition spread. Within a few years, it became an annual tradition in many states. Finally, in 1980, Texas declared Juneteenth a state holiday, with 46 more states soon to follow their lead. Today, Juneteenth is celebrated by many with family gatherings, festivals, and even parades. It's a day when all Americans can celebrate the beginning of freedom for African Americans, celebrate their culture and achievements, and speak out about the progress left to be made.